YouTube and a happy Monday. So this series is going to be called The Winter Out Diaries because I'm going to document the winter basically I guess like I guess that's what it is really isn't it like I really love this whole winter arc thing like I know a lot of people are going to find it annoying and a lot of people find it cringe or whatever but whatever you want to call it you don't have to call it the winter arc you just call it I'm not giving up on the last few months of the year like because everyone does it like we all know we do it we get lazy like for example my old mindset used to be oh well you know it doesn't matter if I put on weight at the end of the year like you know I'm gonna start wearing jumpers and baggy clothes no one will even know and then I'd absolutely be devastated when spring would come around and I'd be like shit I've gained all this weight my clothes don't fit the same all my summer clothes don't look how I want them to look and then I'd crash diet and that's so bad and so toxic and that's because we have this mindset of like like diet for summer and then the rest of the year we just do what we want and then we diet for summer again and it's a constant cycle and we need to escape it so yeah I'm documenting my winter up I'm doing it on TikTok I'm going to do little snippets on Instagram probably mostly stories and maybe a few reels and stuff um and then I'm going to do like in-depth kind of videos on here so it'll be kind of like a spend the week with me vlog i guess each week um i might not do a winter arc one every week you know other weeks i'll probably have hauls and stuff to do but i'm gonna do them here and there and just kind of keep you with me keep me accountable keep you accountable if you want to do one too like you know just set yourself things that you want to do over the next like three four months and just like do them you know <laughs> i think that's the thing like I'm very confident in the fact that if I say I'm going to do something, I will do it. And I, I always think to myself, what trait is that? And I think that is discipline. Like, I don't think there's another word for what that is. Like, that is being disciplined, like doing what you say you're going to do, even when you don't want to, even when you're not motivated, even when it feels really hard. Like, I feel like that is what that trait is. But I didn't always have that. Like, I have it now, but I didn't always. And I feel like discipline is, like, built over time. And the more times you prove to yourself that you can do something that you didn't think you could do, that's when the discipline starts to build and that's like the more and more confident you become. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this series and I really thrive off having something to work towards. Like you probably, if you follow me for a while on Instagram, you'll notice whenever I do a cut or I do a bulk or I'm like, you know, I've got a holiday coming up or something, I like absolutely zone in like I, nothing can distract me I, I'm all in whereas when I'm kind of just floating around like I haven't really got a goal I'm kind of just you know maintaining eating intuitively or whatever like I'm not as like I am still showing up like I don't know if you've noticed but I've been showing up for a few years now pretty consistent but I don't have that kind of like that like I don't know what it is like this little like thing in me that just switches on and goes whoa let's go whereas normally I'm kind of like just showing up like going through the motions ticking the boxes but when I have something to like work towards and document and it feels like there's like a time on it like I'm I want to end this year feeling like insane like I want to be in the best shape I've ever been in like I don't particularly want like I haven't really got like a you know a physical weight goal or anything like that but I want to look lean and strong like so I'm not going to like intentionally cut but I know my body and I know that when I'm really showing up and when I'm really putting in the work like I naturally start to look leaner anyway I guess because my expenditure is quite a lot um but I'm not going to go into a deficit on purpose or anything like that but I know my body and I know that like right now I'm feeling a little bit fluffy just because I've just come back from a holiday I literally got back last night so like I'm holding water like I'm a bit bloated I'm also during my period I can feel my like cramps coming right now so I'm definitely probably going to come on today um and you know I'm just I'm not feeling my ultimate best self right now which when you do what I do and a lot of people I, I you know will think oh like you know what you do isn't even a job like whatever keep your opinion to yourself it's fine but when we do what we do like you know when there's a launch for Honor Active or when like someone's like oh can you post this video or that video like it doesn't matter if we feel confident or not like we have to do it anyway so you know there are some days I don't want to post in shorts on a sports bra and do like a try on haul but I have to because it's part of my job and you know that's part of my livelihood and like we don't always feel super confident but we have to kind of I feel like get used to our bodies in a confident phase and also in our not confident phases otherwise we wouldn't be I can't only show up online when I'm feeling confident I'd show up like one one time a month like do you know what I mean like confidence comes and goes but you have to just like love your body at all times and I think I, I'm really getting good at that now um but yeah let the winter up begin I'm, I'm here I'm about to do my cardio this morning we got up despite getting home from holiday yesterday we got up this morning 5am alarm 
we've got dressed, we've gotten trained, we've trained legs, which that was brave of me on the first morning back. We've trained legs, we're now going to go do cardio. I've got loads of tasks and work stuff to do, so this cardio should actually go quite quickly because I've literally got like a million things to do. Um, so I'm going to take my laptop, going to take my phone, got my tripod, I've got my book, like I've got everything I need for this to go smoothly. Um, and then we are going to go food shopping because I've done a meat delivery, but it's not coming till Wednesday, annoyingly, because I left it too late to order. So I do need to get meat and protein and stuff for like Monday, Tuesday, and then on Wednesday I'll have my order. Um, but I also need like carbs, I need fruit, vegetables, like in roads, I don't know what it was, it might just be the wrong season, but the fruit was like awful. There, there was a serious fruit problem. All the fruit in the supermarkets looked dead. So I was like, I'm not buying that. It, it literally looked horrible, like rotten. And then one day I ordered a fruit salad on like their like food app for seven euros fifty. So you know I was expecting something something pretty cool. It was literally awful. Like it was just a tiny little brown box. It had a few bits of sliced up banana, a few bits of kiwi, and some apple. And that was seven euros fifty. Like that made M and S seem cheap. So I was like, wow, okay. So I didn't really eat that much fruit over there, which I'm gutted about because I love fruit. But the fruit was not fruit in, in roads, let me tell you that. I think it might just be the time of year, maybe. Um, I did have some vegetables and stuff, like, you know, with meals. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel like I was getting many micronutrients because it just, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. Like, it didn't look fresh. So I'm so excited to get back into that here. But yeah, I'm rambling now. So peace out. I'm going to do my cardio. Love you all. See you on the other side. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to get into this. Like, I'm just ready. I'm just, I'm raring to go. I'm just, I, I love this shit. People, I, people always say to me, like, how are you so motivated? It's like, I don't even know. I wouldn't even call it motivated. I'm just like, I'm just like, it just, it gets me going. It just gets me going, you know? Some people love, like, going out and, like, drinking and stuff. And I do like that. Don't get me wrong. I do like that occasionally. But some people, like, you know, look forward to the weekend, Friday, Saturday, like, let's go have a drink. Let's go crazy. I'm like, let's get up at 5am, go to the gym, make a yogurt bowl. Like, that is what gets me going. And I'm fine with that. So, yeah. Anyway, peace out, because my camera's probably going to die. I've been talking for so long. Guys, I just got home. I've done the food shop. I don't think I can even comprehend unpacking it until I eat breakfast. Like, I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything all morning. I've done leg day. I've done cardio. It's, like, half ten. That's so late for me to eat breakfast. Like, that's, like, like, really late. Especially when I got up at five. You know, we've, we've had five and a half hours of today already. And I'm surviving on zero. Like, that's really bad. But it's only because I got home so late yesterday from the airport. Obviously, it's Sunday night. There's not much we can do on a Sunday night. Supermarkets are closed. Um, and literally just, yeah, got off and went this morning. And it just all blurred into one. But I need to eat immediately. So I'm going to make a yogurt bowl. I'm not going to make a huge breakfast because it won't be long till it'll be lunch. And I like making a nice big Caesar salad and fried lunch. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going to make a little yogurt bowl now to keep me going. Um, and yeah, I've done a M&S shop. Unreal. Like, I just can't shop anywhere else now. Like, the food is, it's not even that much difference in price. Like, I find I spend, like, pretty much the same as all in any supermarket. And their stuff is just so much nicer. Their fruit and veg last longer. Their meat is better. Like, just, if you've got one near you, I recommend giving it a go. Because I always used to think, oh my god, it's so expensive. But it's actually not. It's, like, not even different to, like, Sainsbury's or, like, Tesco. So, yeah recommend that a lot they've also got a lot of stuff in there like they have like a saver section i'm not sure it's called saver it's probably called something else but it's basically like they've got like chicken breasts and it's like it's, it's called is it called welfare or something i don't know it's got a name and it's all like affordable prices and it's like made like it's like basics kind of thing um but yeah i'm gonna make a yogurt bowl i'll show you what it looks like and here is my yogurt bowl let me show you the ingredients actually it's not too complicated at all really like um like any kind of strawberry like sky yogurt that's i've decided that's my favorite it's not runny it's quite thick like it goes really nice with the flavor powder so i always go for strawberry they're naturally high in protein so like you don't need to add protein powder if you don't want to i don't anymore um it's 9.5 grams protein per 100 grams so i think this tub's 500 450 so the whole tub has about 40 odd grams of protein in it um, so obviously I have about half a tub per portion, so I'm looking at about 20 grams, 25 grams of protein, um, like when I have that on its own. Obviously you can add protein if you want, but I just don't feel like I need to, because then what I'll do is I'll have like a protein shake alongside. So I like to have my ISO clear shakes, they just 
go better with my body and my digestion and everything so yeah i like actually that and then i mix in with that the esm flavor powder because i still just i just need the yogurt to just taste nice you know just really nice and this just helps so this is the birthday cake flavor which is my current favorite so yeah they sold out the tubs of it i don't know if it's back now but i had to buy loads of sachets because i couldn't get a tub um, and then I've just added some raspberries and some Biscoff sauce because I'm a sweet girly. And I bought the squeezy tub because who has time to melt it in the microwave and pour it and then waste half of it in the pot? Not me, so you can get this on Amazon. Um, but yeah, and that's it. And that will do me for a few hours and then I'm going to make a absolutely insane lunch. I've got, so basically last night we were driving home, I said to Travis, I was like, can you go on my phone and can you order me Nando's? Um, and we went on and unfortunately they didn't actually have exactly what I wanted but I ended up having chicken thighs and the Caesar salad and mixed it all in it was really nice um, but I also was thinking ahead and I said to him could you also order me two side thighs so two thighs on the side because they can that you can do that you can order just two like on their own um, and then I was like I'm gonna have them for lunch tomorrow so that's what I've got I've got Nando's actual Nando's chicken thighs and then I can make my own Caesar salad because I just bought all my stuff from the shop which I'm very happy about and then I'll make my fries with my potatoes in the air fryer. And yeah, I'm just so excited. It's actually so sad I get so excited for like the simplest of things and like making my own food like at home. So like most people hate cooking, but I just love it. And I love, I love the freshness of it. I love knowing what I put in my food. I love lots of whole foods. Like it makes me feel good. It makes my body feel good. Like my digestion goes really well. Like I just, I know it's such a difference when I just stopped eating crap all the time. <laughs> so yeah. That's your thought of the day. Start eating well, stop eating crap. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'll show you my lunch later. And I'm just super excited to make that. And yeah, I've been working on something interesting and exciting. Um, actually, I wrote quite a lot on the plane. I'm not going to give too much away, but yeah, something coming. Um, so I've got a lot of work to do for that as well. Um, but yeah, super excited. And I think tonight I'm going to make a pasta dish. Do you know, I haven't made... A pasta dish in so long like I can't remember I used to make them at the flat all the time like constantly and I have not made one that I don't think since we moved into this house you know maybe one but I can't even remember it so it can't be that good but tonight I'm gonna make a pasta dish because I had some unreal pasta on holiday and now it's just got me in the mood for pasta the weather's also kind of looking like a pasta pasta weather so yeah I'm gonna make a pasta dish I think like pesto cheesy pesto maybe with um like I got those chicken flatties from m and and they look really nice, they're already seasoned so I think I'll air fry them and then I'll either slice them on top or I might even chicken shred them you know, that's my chicken shredder there actually you can see it um, I might even shred them and put it on the pasta, in the pasta I don't know, I'm just, yeah I'm thinking about food because I'm starving so I'll chat with you later Hi guys, I promised I'd show you my lunch please don't judge my eyebrows, okay I've just tinted them for the first day they go really dark so we just don't talk about it okay just ignore just pretend that's not there um but this is my lunch so i've got as i said chicken caesar salad with nando's chicken thighs shredded on top and then homemade fries but i've got edamame and red sweet peppers as the vegetables it's just it doesn't get better than this i'm sorry i i will argue with anyone that says it does like this is the best lunch in the world I would even pick this over at going to a restaurant, and that to me says a lot. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because my eyebrows are throwing me off, but <laughs> this is going to be devoured. Hi guys, I hope you are well. I just want to apologise, first of all, because I have been a terrible vlogger the past day or so. To be honest with you, yesterday just ran away with me. Today has just been so busy work-wise, I haven't really had anything interesting to show you or catch you up on. I've just been ticking boxes, started check-ins at the kitchen, uh, on the walking pad, sorry. Um, and then I moved to the kitchen table and then I had to pop out and then I returned to the kitchen table and I was just sat there till like, well, half five today. So it's now six o'clock. I spontaneously this morning booked Pilates tonight, reformer Pilates at a different studio that has just opened. I usually go to one which is in Cornwall, but for some reason at the moment, it's literally so hard to get space like it's always fully booked like weeks in advance um which has been really sad and i really miss it so i thought oh screw it like i'm just gonna get out of my comfort zone go to this new place but then i started to freak out because i booked it spontaneously in the moment and then realized i have to go on my own and i don't know anyone and i've never been there before and i really don't like that so then i managed to 
persuade my friend to come. So she is coming as well. And I have brought her an outfit, as you can probably see there. Um, so yeah, we are going to do that together. Um, but it's a new studio, so I'm excited to see. It looks really, really nice in pictures um, and on their Instagram and everything. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. And it is so much closer than the other Pilates place that I go to. Um, it's about an eight minute drive, this one from my house, which is so good. Um, whereas the other one is probably about... I don't know like 18 to 20 minutes and if I get stuck on the bridge then it can end up being an hour so that has happened before um, and they actually are about the same price so you know kind of doesn't really well it's a bit of a no-brainer I should probably go for this one um, but the class times are a little bit iffy for me so I'm gonna see how it goes but yeah I'll catch up with you later good morning everybody it's now Wednesday so I did Pilates last night which was Tuesday evening um, and it was really, really good. So, like, I'm so glad I went. I didn't need to be nervous. It was literally really small and intimate. Like, there was nothing to be scared about. Um, it was difficult, as for a form of Pilates always is. It just gets bits of you that just other things don't. Like, honestly, some of it, I kind of lay there and I think, do like, do I even lift? Because this feels really hard. Like, it's just, yeah, wild how hard it can be. Um, but I got up this morning in the 5 a.m. club again. I'm so proud of myself this week I've been absolutely smashing it um and I trained back and biceps so pull um and now I am at the gym ready to do some cardio um I've got so many like tasks I need to do this week like different things for different things so I need to get some of them done on the Stairmaster but I just want to read my book you know what I mean it's like 7 a.m like I just I just want to chill I just want to read my book I just want to zone out but I can't because I've just got all these things like going around in my head like this and I just don't know how to switch my brain off like I honestly don't so I need to do them but I just don't want to I just, I just want I just don't want responsibility today I just want to read my book because I literally have read barely any of it because I can't seem to find a minute to actually get into it and it's a really long book it's like 400 pages so it's gonna take me bloody years at this rate because it's Wednesday already and I think I've read like 10 pages so not cool um but yeah I'm gonna go do my cardio and yeah and then just crack on with the rest of the day it's a launch day today for transitions for honor active so that's exciting and um, we didn't get all our product for it so i didn't make a youtube um just because it would have been very short and sweet and pointless really um but i will do some stories today um just on like you know the stuff i've got and just a little run through um but yeah happy hump day i don't know if this week's going slow or fast i can't really decide right now but i feel like it might be going fast I feel like if today goes fast, then the week's going fast. If today goes slow, then the week's the week's going slow. That's my kind of view on it anyway. Hey guys, happy Wednesday afternoon. So I am just gonna open the muscle food order that's just come and do you a little haul. Do you know, I actually stopped ordering from there for a while, not because there's anything wrong with it, just because I was going to MS so much like to get all the other food, I just started picking up like stuff that looked nice there, like the meat. And it is really nice, but there are certain things that muscle food just do so much better, like their mints. I've never tasted mints that is as good as their mints, like anywhere, ever. And um, we actually had a pack in the freezer and I defrosted it a few weeks ago and cooked it. And I bit into it and I was like, oh my God, what is this? And then I realized it was the muscle food mints. And I was like, Oh, I need to start ordering again because it's literally insane. Like oh, I'm gonna make burger bowls tonight and I just can't wait because that's how good it is. And I used to be a chicken girl, so muscle food converted me. But let's have a look. I did like quite a big order, so this should last us like almost two weeks maybe, maybe like a week and a half. Um, but I just, you know, I just think when it comes to like um, protein and stuff, like, I just, I don't want gross meat because I won't eat it. I will just say no, like I'm not eating that. So I think, you know, it, it, I don't know if it is more expensive, you know, than getting it in the supermarket. I don't think it is. Like maybe because you have to pay delivery and stuff, but I actually got free delivery because I had a code. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's like, like ridiculously more expensive. I think it's really quite cheap, but it feels expensive at the time because obviously you order quite a lot. But when you realise that you don't have to buy any more meat for like the next like two weeks, it's like, actually that's probably really cheap. This was £50, so, you know, if this does last us like a week and a half to two weeks, it's like, you know, £30 a week-ish, or like 25 a week if it lasts two weeks. 
between two people, that's not bad. It's really not bad. Um, but yeah, let's have a look what we got on here. So, first of all, Dragonfire Chicken Breast. These are really, really nice. So you get two in a pack, they're both 140 grams each. It's got all the calories and the macros and everything on it. This is why I like muscle food. You don't have to weigh anything, like it's already there. They're telling you what's in it and they're telling you how much it is. So it just makes life so much easier. There is my beef steak mince. Mm, just so good, honestly, I, I just, you can't argue with that. It's, it's the best. And then their fillet steaks, if you've never tried their fillet steak, you have to try. That was two for 12 pounds, so bear that in mind. You would not get two good fillet steaks in a supermarket for £12. Good ones, I mean. So definitely recommend it. It's also not fatty, like if they're like perfect for fillet steaks. Um, excuse me whilst I take out my like 10 portions of mince that I ordered. Um, the chicken sausages are really, really nice as well. Me and Travis both really like them. Uh, got some of their burgers. Again, their burgers are really, really good. Like just anything with our mince is amazing. Um, we've got some barbecue chicken breasts for Travis. Um, more steak mints. <laughs> I think I literally ordered five packs. Um, oh, another one, maybe six actually then. But I just, I love it. Like I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I got some tandoori flavoured boneless chicken thighs. I've never tried these, so I don't know what they're going to be like. I'm not sure if I really like tandoori flavour, but... I don't know, I had some really nice chicken thighs from Nando's the other day and it got me in the mood for chicken thighs, so I've got to try it out. And then we've got the Piri Piri Chicken Breast Diced, which again, it's just so useful. It's already weighed, it's got macros on it, it's seasoned, you literally just chuck it in the air fryer. Um, some mini breast fillets, just chicken, not seasoned. And then some dragon fire chicken breast again. So yeah, there's quite a lot there, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 things. Some of them are like single serve. Some of them are obviously like multiple, but two. Um, so yeah, it should last. That should last like two weeks, I reckon, because like we don't use this always for lunch. Sometimes I just buy like a roast chicken and then like shred it up and prep it for my lunches. So that won't be included in this. Um, and Travis takes like wraps and sandwiches and stuff. So this is mostly just for dinners and maybe occasionally my lunch if I forget to go and buy the chicken. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, 50 quid. Doesn't seem too bad for like two weeks worth of meat. I just, I feel like that's quite, quite decent really. But yeah, that is my order and I will catch up with you later. I have got to go to the dentist in a minute and um, I've smashed my work today. Absolutely smashed it. I was getting really overwhelmed because I had all these like, tasks I needed to do for different things. And I was like, you know, when you like get so overwhelmed, you can't stop thinking about, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. And it was just like spinning my head out. So I just went upstairs and I texted her and I was like, I'm upstairs. I need to like focus, like see you later. So I went upstairs and I just, I just did it. I just did it all. It was absolutely great. Um, so yeah, I think tonight I might actually have time to read my book, which would be really nice. Like really nice. So I would really like that. Um, but yeah, so for lunch, I'm gonna have, actually I need to make my lunch before I go, but it's all right because I've already prepped the uh, minced beef and the veg is all there as well. So all I need to do is microwave some rice. That's the only thing I have to cook. So that will literally take me two minutes. So two minute lunch is coming. Um, and then I need to go to the dentist. And then tonight I'm gonna make burger bowl. So I will try and video that for you. Um, and yeah. It's launch day as well, like I said earlier, so that's exciting. I've got on Deep Tote, which is obviously an existing colour. The Mellow Soft I don't think is actually launching today in this colour. I think it's coming like in a week or so. Um, but the leggings, I thought this would really stock in, which is exciting because everyone loves this colour. And yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Oh, also, ESM, Crank Energy. I'm a sucker for an energy drink. Tropical is my favourite. If you've ever had like a Mango Monster, it's all right, but I get sick of it after a few sips, whereas this I don't, and this is like tropical flavor, which is so much nicer. So yeah, try this if you haven't. Hey guys, so I'm just sending off a parcel to Hayley, who is the winner of the um, client challenge this month. So, or last month even. So basically Hayley 
We did a find something good in every day challenge and Hayley sent me every single day for the month of September something good that happened and she really made the effort to like look for something good every day. I really liked the things she was like writing and even if she didn't have the best day like you know she'd still find something good to write about and I just yeah I really really liked it so Hayley was our challenge winner. Um, I'm gonna send out tomorrow I think the next challenge so um, I'll send that out tomorrow. Sorry should I do that on YouTube? Rips out of it with my teeth? I don't know probably not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna send that out. Tried it on my hands. No, it's not. And then um, I see see what everyone's efforts are like. I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna do like the best winter arc. But how I'm gonna do it is obviously from like now until the end of the year. But um, I do like mini prizes for the best effort each month. So like we'll have one for October, November, December. And then do like a big prize at the beginning of January for like who had the like overall best winter arc. I really love the winter arc thing. I'm not letting it go. I want it to stay forever. I don't know what I'm going to call the first three months of next year, but it's going to be something along the lines of winter arc or hopefully TikTok does it for me and like finds a, um, a name for it. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging it. It's just really motivating me. Like I love documenting it for TikTok and I'm really just enjoying, um, just kind of like getting into it. It's making me very consistent, which I like. And that's both with like workouts and nutrition. So it's like a win-win. Um, sorry, I'm just writing Hayley's address because I want to get that right. Um, but yeah, it just definitely has been a really nice way to kick off October. And I'm really hoping my clients love it too. So that will be next month's challenge. But yeah, I'm just gonna send Hayley her goodies now. And then I've got the rest of the day to crack on with. Today was monumental, right? Because I actually took a video clip in the gym, like in the actual public gym, which I've been scared to do for ages now. Like I literally, I just, I go to do it and then I just can't, like I physically just can't do it. I don't know why I've got so used to like being at home. I just like, public is just like, that terrifies me now. I've like gone like 10 steps backwards in terms of confidence in the gym, which is really stupid because it's been longer. So I should be more confident, but yeah. But I took a video clip today in the gym, which you will see either before or after this. Uh, it's not anything spectacular, it's quite short, <laughs> but I did it and that was the point, I owned it, I just got it out, I thought, oh, screw it, let's just do it. And um, yeah, I'm proud of myself for that, it's the little wins, you know. I'm also absolutely freaking starving, so I need to go home and eat, and I also need to shower quickly. Um, and yeah, I will catch you up later, but I don't know what to have a dinner tonight. That's like the, the biggest, like, kind of thing on my mind all the time because like I don't want to be ordering food I don't want to be like you know ordering rubbish or anything like that so I'm making everything at home this winter arc um everything I can anyway obviously I've got some meals out and stuff but that's beside the point I mean when I can cook at home I will um and I just yeah I don't know what to have we've got because I did that meat order we've got so many options I could do anything I might do like I saw Molly put on a story last night like Nando's loaded fries I might do that I've got a massive spot here it's really killing the vibe um yeah Nando's loaded fries also guys my period finally came it's day one of my cycle and I had to train legs first thing whose idea was that that was awful that was, that was not the vibes honestly I was doing split squats I felt like I was gonna die like it wasn't it at all um but I did it so go me and yeah I will catch up later anyway I'm rambling I'll let you know what I have for dinner that's the important thing hi guys so I'm just getting ready to go and get some fit you know you just got things you need like for people's birthdays and stuff like that so I'm gonna go get them today I've got my ESN energy drink tropical flavor the best one um I've got this like cozy thing on um that I bought last year just I was gonna wear a cardigan and then I seen it in my wardrobe and I was like I actually really like that 
So I put it on, but I've also got my cardigan because I don't know if this is going to be very warm. But I like the vibe because I can still get my arms out. So if I do get too hot, it won't be that bad. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be a bit cold because my arms are accessible. Not sure. Um, but yeah, happy weekend to you all. Hope you have the best weekend. And I'm sure this vlog will be up on Sunday. So I hope you're having the best Sunday as well. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I have for dinner tonight, whatever I decide. Uh, and then we'll probably sign it off there. Hey guys, so I promised I'd show you what I made for dinner and I did go with the Nando's loaded fries. So we got homemade chips, shredded chicken, some spicy mayonnaise sauce, halloumi, and then some jalapenos, peppers, edamame, just absolutely delicious. But yeah, I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks so much for watching.